Coleman back in the bee yard and we're now in November. This is our third month of spring. Things are progressing quite well and today I'm going to look at some of the new queens I've installed. I'm also going to have a look at those queen mating nukes that I have. There should be queens in them. If there isn't anything, I'm going to manipulate that a little bit and see if I can't get them to rear a queen. This phenomenal hive on the right hand side has delivered 17 kilograms of honey through October. That next hive I now refer to as the haunted hive or the cursed hive. There have been so many things that have gone wrong with that hive. Eventually we've managed to get a queen in there and she's doing well. This hive had an Italian queen. Interesting, the one thing you do need to understand is if the bees are not going to produce honey, unless you have a need for a queen that produces a large number of offspring, use her for drawing home, producing offspring for other hives, little point in keeping her. Now, when I allow her to be superseded, the genetics in that hive will be the original genetics, so 50% of the original queen, 50% of the drones that were in her area. Her daughter, though, will be mated with drones in my area. Important to bear in mind, drones determine how calm the hive is, which is quite interesting. That little hive over there has a bunch of queen cells in it. The queen that was in there was a daughter of the original queen that I had, Amadala. These granddaughters are going to be from my area. They're going to have genetics from my area. Those three little new boxes, all new queens. Although the one on the left has a cell from the awesome queen. So the tall hive has a queen from the original six that I got in. She was a great, she is a great queen, not was, is a great queen. Unfortunately, I managed to lose the queen that was in that cotton box. But she's produced a daughter and that daughter's laying eggs. It looks like it's going to be an awesome queen. Okay, I'm going to get working with these bees now. Something with these. I cut four lots of comb to put in here and it's been an absolute bloody mess. These bees are all coated in honey. Oh, let's see where this queen is. Pretty obvious. This is one of the new queens. 
she's doing a bang-up job she's only been in here for a couple of weeks and already this frame is full of brood see the brood in there lots and lots and lots of brood so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut two little strips out of here to put into the frames for those other those two baby nukes I got a piece out of there put that back in I'll fix it up so got some brood now I'll fasten onto that frame and put that frame in so they have a queen you saw the queen of the blue spot this one I haven't found hopefully now we'll get this one going this has got some brood that's got brood they're taking liquid from the back these ones aren't doing that yet I have to top them up with some nurse bees at some stage leeches, bloody leeches they are the worst things out they'll go right through your socks chew a hole into you, you won't feel it they obviously have some sort of local anaesthetic an anticoagulant and then they let go end up bleeding all over the place and it, the wound will itch like crazy and for some obscure reason always at this hive this is where I get a leech Master is coming right for me. As sure you can see, this queen, this is a new queen too. I've had a bit of a problem with hive beetles. That's why I've been putting these new beetle traps in. See if we can find this queen. This is a frame, or this is a new box that I made up specifically for this queen. This was an empty frame, and you can see that it's all this shiny liquid, it's nectar, so they bring you in nectar. The few foragers that are there, a little bit of brood underneath there, but I don't know whether that brood's still alive. It's not this queen's brood. I have a queen cup, but it's empty. I'll just tear it down. We're going to disturb these. These bees have a queen cell on this frame. I'm just going to leave them. That queen should be out and about. And about the 14th should be mated and laying. All right, these are some frames that are in need of some work. That one's been hit by, looks like wax moth. This one wasn't properly coated. wasn't properly coated and the bees have gone and made all sorts of weird and wonderful things. So I'll take this back, I'll strip that off and I'll coat this with wax. And I've got some drawn frames. It's a drawn frame. It's pretty dirty. It had um, wax moth on it and certainly this one has wax moth too. I did find the wax moth on it somewhere. In any case, what I'll do is I will strip that comb off and collect the wax. 